Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria. I'm back from my vacation and it is time to jump on the markets again. Uh, this week I've uh, created a few trading plans and today I want to share one of them with you. Uh, this plan is based on the USD CAT currency pair and as usual we are going to look over a few uh, different time frames but uh, I will try and focus on the short term uh, period of this plan so my expectations would be for the plan to develop by the end of the week uh, it can give us uh, roughly around 100 pips which is pretty good and uh, yeah let's get started uh, what you see on the screens now is the USD CAT H4 time frame <clears throat> where we will start our analysis but I just want to mention first uh, the weekly time frame and uh, you can see that I already drew this weekly resistance area uh, which acted as a nice and strong support over here here as a resistance after being broken and if you go back you can see that we had some uh, reactions from that area like here uh, even here as a resistance then here the price uh, struggled around it and finally it was broken here it reached it here and we can see that uh, we had a small downtrend now uh, the price retraced back to it so going back to the H4 a few things we can notice here and the first most important for me is that uh, we had a very very strong uptrend wave all the way down from here you can see how the price just moved up it just uh, stopped for a while here and continued the move up uh, very strong bullish uptrend uh, so my expectations are for us to see uh, maybe a correction here at this point I also drew uh, this red line which actually shows the uh, daily uh, trend you can see we are in a downtrend uh, price is forming lower highs and lower lows and uh, let me just mark them so it's easier for you to notice them here here so far here you can see the lower lows here so this is our trend line at the moment and as you can see the price is currently standing just below the weekly resistance area and also this uh, trending line so I expect us to see a new wave down from here so back to the H4 uh, as we said we saw a huge wave up here so I believe it's time for a downtrend wave uh, this green line here represents the previous uh, top made, made by the price you can see actually it was a double top here after this move up here we had a small down wave a new up wave that formed the double top and a huge downtrend wave so at this point this line will act as a, as a support uh, area on the lower time frames list so if we see a break of it I believe a continuation of the downtrend will happen now I also marked this H4 downtrend support uh, which can be seen that if we spread it a little bit here you can see how the price reacted from that uh, zone uh, first into this huge uptrend wave we had a stoppage here for a while before continuing uh, you can see here uh, the price also reacted from that level here as well for a while here it acted as a support a few times so this would be our main target and our first target of course uh, there we will look to close uh, some part of the position or the whole position and uh, of course if we uh, find ourselves lucky and the price uh, breaks easily through that zone I expect it to continue down to this previous bottom here 
but this is a more long-term target. Now going down to the H1 time frame, I'll just delete that. What we see here is that uh, after the uh, huge wave uptrend uh, wave here, uh, the price is currently consolidating just below the weekly resistance. Uh, you can see if we turn on the Bollinger Bands, we actually have a squeeze of the Bollinger Bands. So at this point here, I would expect for the price to remain for a while in this uh, sort of square formation. And I will be looking for a break of this, uh, of the bottom of this square, which will also break the uh, previous H4 uh, top. So a break here would give us a signal to enter and uh, look for a target somewhere in the H4 downtrend support uh, zone. Um, I would recommend looking for an entry on the H1, but if you want to trade on the lower time frames, you can go to the M15 and wait for this break here of this line again. Uh, you can see that here we had a certain consolidation on the M15, but I believe that if we see a break of this uh, uh, level, the H4 uh, previous top level, I don't think this area here would be much of a support. Uh, we might see a small sort of like consolidation here again, and then a continuation of the downtrend wave to our uh, take profit area. Uh, that's for this week. I will be monitoring this plan closely. I will update you with live signals, both on our Telegram channel and on Twitter. Also on our Telegram channel, I will update you with live signals on uh, trading plans I don't share with you, but I, uh, take those trades, so uh, join it uh, from the link below this video. And uh, if you have any questions or you want to leave any feedback, uh, you can contact us on our official email or throughout our social media profiles. Also, the links are below this video. Thank you very much for the attention and I wish you a profitable week. September is here. Let's kick it.